hi welcome back to my channel and for this video we are going to talk about quartiles for group data in the previous uh, video we have already talked about how to compute quartiles for ungrouped data this time quartiles of group data naman so at the end of this lesson you should be able to accurately illustrate the quartiles of a group data correctly solve the ith quartile of a group data and correctly interpret the ith quartile of a group data. Let's recall first um, quartiles. Ano ba ibig sabihin natin sa quartiles? So, when we say quartiles, uh, these are points that divide a ranked data. Ranked data, ibig sabihin naka-arrange sila from uh, lowest to highest. Okay. We divide them, or the data set is divided by four equal parts, into four equal parts. Right. And each set of data has three quartiles, although four equal parts, but we only have three quartiles, denoted by Q sub i, in which um, i stands for 1, 2, and 3. So, Q sub 1 is the first quartile, okay, first quartile, meaning nito, um, this, uh, yung first quartile, meaning yan, 25% of the data are smaller in value than the first quartile. Okay, and 75% are larger than the first quartile. The first quartile represents the middle value of all the values to the left of the median. So, if we recall, median divides, okay, uh, median divides a data set into two equal parts. Parang yung nasa pinakagitna, ano. And to the left of the median, yung gitna ng nasa left ng median, that's the first quartile. And we also call the first quartile as the lower quartile. Okay, lower quartile. Let's review this illustration. Um, this one here represents the lowest score, and this is the highest score. Now, this da data set is divided into four equal parts, so 25% each. Ano. So, this is the location of the first quartile, wherein 25% of the data is below the first quartile and 75 percent of the data are above first quartile and this is the median or um, for quartiles this is the second quartile okay it's the middle position of the data set so second quartile 50 percent ng data is below the second quartile and 50 percent are above the second quartile the third quartile the location is here. So, 75% ng data ay below sa third quartile and 25% is above the third quartile. Okay. And of course, this one is the highest. Right? The third quartile is also called the upper quartile. Kung ang first quartile ay tinatawag na lower quartile, upper quart quartile naman ang third quartile. And this is also... Third quartile is also called the middle value of the data above the median, okay? Or to the right of the median. So, this is the median uh, above nyan at yung pinakagitna. So, that's the third quartile, right? So, how do we solve the quartiles for group data, Okay, group data, ibig sabihin uh, yung data natin hindi na yung raw data, yung nasa table form na siya and kinuha na yung frequency distribution. Okay, and meron na siyang interval. So mamaya ipapakita ko ng example ng group data. No? And of course, uh, how we solve um, the quartiles of uh, that group data. So here are the steps in solving for the quartiles of group data. Unang una, of course, we uh, construct the less than cumulative frequency. And this is uh, through the frequency distribution table. Okay? So, unang una, we solve or we construct the less than cumulative frequency or denoted by this symbol. So, less than cumulative frequency. Right? And then, we determine the Q sub I class. So, ibig sabihin, if we want to determine the first quartile, so we determine the first quartile class. Okay? Q sub 1. If we want to determine the third quartile, then we determine the third quartile class. How, how do we do this? First, we solve for I over 4 times N. 
where n is the total frequency. Okay? Then, we identify the closest less than cumulative frequency that is greater than, greater than the value of this, okay? Greater than the value of this, um, but closest, huh? closest to the less than cumulative frequency. The class of this less than cumulative frequency is the Q sub i class. Okay. And, um, Kung na-determine na natin yung Q sub i class, then we are going to solve for the quartile using this formula. Okay, using this formula. Um, we have L, that's the lower class boundary of the Q sub i class. And N, of course, is the total frequency. Uh, you can find that in the frequency distribution table. And we have course, the less than cumulative frequency before, okay, less than cumulative, cumulative frequency before the QI class. Okay, mamaya papakita natin ang example. Yung F naman, it stands for the frequency of the QI class. And yung last dito, yung W, that's the width of the class interval. Okay, that's the width of the class interval. Next, we have the interquartile range. So, before ako magpapakita ng example ng solving nito, um, alamin muna natin yung interquartile range. Um, actually, this is just a review. No? Interquartile range is the difference between the upper and the lower quartiles of the set of data. When we say upper quartile, that refers to the third quartile. Lower quartile, that refers to the first quartile. It is used to measure how spread out a set of data is since it is not affected by outliers. Okay? So, we have the interquartile range. So, Q sub 3 or the third quartile minus the first quartile. So, very simple. Example, if our third quartile is 11.5 and the first quartile is 4.2, then we just subtract them. So, interquartile range is equal to 11.5 minus 4.2, and that gives us 7.3. Okay? Now, let's try this. Determine the first quartile, second quartile, and the third quartile classes of the frequency distribution below. Now, this one shows an example of a group data. A group data kasi hindi na siya yung raw data, no? Hindi na siya yung original na data. Um, naka frequency table na siya. Right? There are intervals already. So we have this class intervals. We have 21 to 35, my apat. 36 to 50, my anim. And so on hanggang 96 to 110, that's 5. The total frequency is 45. 45. And so we have here the less than cumulative frequency. So, ano ba itong less than cumulative frequency? So, we start at, pwede naman tayo mag-start sa taas, ano? So, this is the total, uh, the total number of frequency. So, 45. So, we started at 45. And then, minus yung frequency dito sa first. So, 45 minus 5, that's 40 na lang. 40 minus 8, that's 32. 32 minus 10, that's 22. 22 minus 12, that's 10. 10 minus 6, that's 4. Okay. Or pwede rin mag-start kayo dito sa pinaka baba. So, we have here 4. So, plus 6, that becomes 10. Plus 12, 22. Plus 10, 32. Plus 8, 40. Plus 5, 45. So, pwede namang ganun. As long as from the top to bottom, it's decreasing. So, that's the less than cumulative frequency. Now, let's determine the first quartile class. Okay. Remember, this is not yet the first quartile. It's the first quartile class. Okay, yung class pa mismo. Um, first, we solve for i over 4 times n. So, we have i, since we are looking for the first quartile, our i is 1. And the total number of frequency, that's 45. So, that's 1 fourth times 45. And that gives us 11.25. Right, and so, we look for the closest less than cumulative frequency that is greater than 11.25. Now, if we look at this one, our less than cumulative frequency, um, 22 
is greater than 11.25. Of course, also 32 is less than, is greater than 11.25 as well as 40 and 45. But the closest one is 22. Okay? The closest one is 22. Alright? So, therefore, this is our Q sub 1 class. Okay? So, this is the class of our first quartile. Alright? And, um... Let's determine the second quartile class, uh, just like the other ones, the first quartile, um, we solve for i over 4 times n, wherein our i is 2, this time because um, we are looking for the second quartile. And of course, the same pa rin yung n natin equals 45 because we are using the same set of, uh, the same data. Right? So, our n is 45. So, solving for that, substituting, we have 2 over 4 times 45. And that gives us 22.5. Now, again, we look for the closest less than uh, cumulative frequency that is greater than 22.5. So, dito, yung less than cumulative frequency that are greater than 22.5 are 32, 40, and 45. But the closest one is 32. Okay, hindi pwedeng si 22 because this is less than 22.5. Okay, so we have 32. Therefore, this class, okay, is our Q sub 2 class. Next, let's determine the third quartile class. Third quartile class, the same pa rin, solve for i over 4 times n. This time, our i is 3 because we are looking for the third quartile. Our n is uh, still 45 because we are using the same um, data. So, substituting, we have 3 over 4 times 45 and that gives us 33.75. So, let's look for the closest less than cumulative frequency that is greater than 33.75. So, ito, hindi. Uh, this one, 40. This is the closest um, cumulative frequency that is greater than 33.75. So, therefore, this class is the third quartile class. Ano bang gamit natin ito? Of course, um, if we are looking for the third quartile, yung information na gagamitin natin to solve for the third quartile ay manggagaling sa class na ito. Okay? And I will show you that uh, with our second example. So, let's solve for the first quartile of the group data below. So, this is another set of data um, wherein we are asked to solve for the first quartile. So, ang gagawin natin, let's determine muna the first quartile class and then we are going to solve for the first quartile using the information in the first quartile class. How is that? Determining the first quartile class, yung ginawa natin kanina sa example number 1, we are going to solve for i over 4 times n, wherein our i is 1 and n equals 50. Bakit 50? Ah, from here, yung sa data na binigay. So, n equals 50. And so, substituting, that is 1, 4 times 50, and that gives us 12.5. Okay? So, from the table, we are going to look for the closest less than cumulative frequency that is greater than 12.5. And in that case, greater than 12, we have here 7, and 12.5 yun, di ba? 12.5. So, we have 14. So, therefore, this class is our first quartile class. So, when we solve for the first quartile, we are going to use the information provided by this class right here. Okay? So, let's solve for the first quartile using this formula. Okay, so dapat familiar kayo niyan or memorize niyo ito. First quartile would be the lower class boundary, L, plus yung sinolve natin kanina, I over 4 times N, minus yung less than cumulative frequency before, and divided by the frequency of that class interval times the class width. Okay, so let's substitute. Using the information that we have here, let's look for uh, these values. Unang-una, yung lower class boundary. Lower class boundary um, is between, uh, eto, um, 41, yung last dito. Oh. So, yung boundary before mag-41. So, it's between 41 and 40. So, yung nasa gitna ng 40 at saka 41, that is 40.5. 
Oh, uh, pwede yung uh, 40 plus 41 divided by 2. And that would give you 40.5. Okay, 40.5. Plus, yung sinold natin kanina before we got this uh, Q sub 1 class. Yung I over 4 times N. Okay. We had uh, yung I over 4 times N. We had 12.5 yun, di ba, kanina? Okay. 12.5. Ayan. Minus yung less than cumulative frequency before. This is our class. Yung less than cumulative frequency na napili natin kanina because this is our class. Now, ang kailangan natin before this, before. So, we have 7. Okay? So, minus 7 divided by yung frequency ng class na ito. Frequency ng class na yan. Frequency niya ay 7. Kaya, divide din natin sa 7. And then, i-multiply natin. Ito lang na part, ha? I-multiply, hindi kasali yung lower class boundary. Ito na part, i-multiply natin sa class width. Ang class width naman, it's the interval between 41 and 45. Okay. So, kung i-minus mo lang yan, 45 minus 41, that will give you 4. Of course, kasali si 41 sa bilang. So, that would be 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. If, if you count that with your hands, that would give you 5. So, the class width is 5. Okay? Then you can use your calculator to solve for that. So, unahin nyo 12. Pwede nyo unahin, ano, uh, 12.5 minus 7, and then i-divide sa 7, i-multiply sa 5, and then ang sagot, i-add sa 40.5. And the answer should be 44.43 in two decimal places. So, therefore, our first quartile is 44.43. It means that 25% of the data or 25% of the responses are below 44.43. We can also say that 75% of the data or 75% of the responses are above 44.43.